What's going on everybody? Captain Zeus here and I'm back with another review and this one is over Secret Level. Now I think it was the first 10 episodes that dropped today and I think they're coming out with more episodes every Tuesday which is a bit surprising if you ask me. I'm gonna go ahead and go into some of the things here about what I liked, didn't like, etc. So spoiler warning for those of you that haven't seen the show and uh, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this. Now right off the bat I'm gonna say these guys did a phenomenal job at making this show. The visuals were literally off the charts. I will say there was a lot of episodes that were really similar with the visuals in terms of it being very realistic and I didn't have an issue with it but I kind of wish that it changed things up a bit. The only ones that I would say were different in terms of visuals was the Pac-Man episode as well as the Sifu episode and Sifu was one of my favorites as well as Pac-Man. Both of those were great. Now other than the visuals, soundtrack fantastic, freaking loved it, super loved of Death Robots -y. and the intro for the show itself was super simplistic but just kind of like I don't know it was just I, I watched it every time I just found myself enjoying it. I would say literally the only episode I did not like was the New World episode. I, I don't know what it was maybe it was because it was Arnold Schwarzenegger just voicing the main character maybe it was because the story wasn't that interesting or maybe it was because it was New World which I didn't find that interesting in general. I don't know but that episode I just did not like. I found myself getting bored of it especially since the the whole point of like living and then coming back, living and then coming back is one that we saw literally done the episode before in Sifu, but it has been done a lot in shows. So kind of wasn't a fan of that aspect. All the other episodes I will say was freaking phenomenal. Fantastic casting, Keanu Reeves, Alex Lee, Tamara Morrison, I believe his name was, and a ton more just in this show in these first 10 episodes as is stat cast. And you could tell also with the visuals, like you can see who's who. There's some episodes where I actually was kind of confused. I didn't know they were actual games. Crossfire, is that an actual game? Because that episode was wild. It seemed longer than 20 minutes. I didn't think it was a bad thing. It was really enticing into the story of everyone thinks they're a good guy. So I like that aspect of the story that everyone thinks they're the good guy when in reality, none of them are good guys or so we think. I don't know, but I want to go into that one a little bit more. And the other episode was Unreal Tournament, I believe it was called. I have no idea what game that is based off of. I would love to know if you guys know, please let me know in the comments below. That episode was probably my favorite. The Robot Rebellion. First of all, I thought this was going to be like a Helldivers for a second. I thought it was going to be like Helldivers 2, like how the, how the robots is the next big bad. I don't know. This was so cool. Just seeing the robot rebellion happen and seeing the AI evolve it's terrifying from a realistic standpoint because you know it's kind of where AI is heading right now so everyone needs to stop using generative AI so freaking good man and the fact that the humans lost that was cool oh there was the Keanu Reeves armored core episode which I thought was interesting it seemed like Keanu Reeves's character is like crazy honestly it just seemed like he, he was too fused with the synthetic ai that he had surgery with it seemed because he just killed one of his own kind at the very end and he didn't seem off of his rocker and super skinny like anorexic almost and it is not healthy so that one was an interesting episode also i would say probably the three other episodes that really stood out was the sifu episode because the visuals again were just super unique and i love the seamless transitions between each death i thought that was freaking awesome the dungeons and dragons episode was pretty cool because Dungeons and Dragons. I, I would love to see a full series of an actual campaign animated like that. That'd be cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Watching Legend of Vox Machina the way it is is awesome, but I kind of would like a, a more serious one animated a little bit more serious. Like, that's that's a show that CGI is done correctly and it looks good. Whereas you look at Legend of Vox Machina when they have CGI in there, it looks absolutely garbage. But the other episode that stood out to me was the Pac-Man episode. That one was not at all what I thought. I, I thought the, the Swordsman was Pac-Man. I thought that's what they were implying this whole time. Not the yellow orb that was following him around. I thought that was more of a symbolic representation of Pac-Man, not legit her being Pac-Man. And it was so dark. Like the whole thing was him to eat and eat and eat, which I guess is the premise of Pac-Man because he's eating these little balls and is, is consuming them to get stronger until he finds like the berries and to, to turn the, the ghosts into food. And then Pac-Man just start, oh dude, I don't know, but I want more of that. I want more of that episode. That was freaking dope. 
nevertheless, I'm just rambling at this point. Overall, I would say the show is freaking phenomenal. Love Death Robots. I mean, the show itself is awesome. It's got three seasons for a reason. It's won a ton of awards for a reason. This show is probably going to be on the same track. I would love to see them do something just like this, but for like Warner Brothers, for example. I would probably rate this show itself as a whole like a 9.5 out of 10. The reason why I don't give it a 10 is probably because of the New World episode, uh, as well as the fact that the animation styles was basically the same throughout. Again, not an issue, but I would have liked it for there to be some diversity, considering that we're watching different games. So seeing them all look the same wasn't that cool. Oh my gosh. Also, the Warhammer episode. I just forgot about this. The Warhammer episode was probably one of my favorites because it had the least dialogue, but yet the most to talk about, if you if you know what I mean. Like, there wasn't that much dialogue in the, in the episode. Only a little bit in the beginning, only a little bit at the end. But throughout the whole time, action-packed, freaking awesome. But it was like telling such a good story, and it kind of had me on edge as to what the new kid, the kid without fear, was going to do. And I was surprised that he didn't go bad. I was surprised that he actually stayed true to whatever their beliefs were. And now it's got me interested. Like, I want to I go into more Warhammer because of that stuff. Like, I want to play Space Marine too. Like, that game looked cool. I want to play that now. Yeah, I would say overall, such a good show. I can't wait for the next few episodes. I wonder if they're going to release like one episode a week now, or if it's going to be like 10 episodes each week, and it's only like for a few weeks. I don't know. But nevertheless, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Secret Level, at least these first 10 episodes. I'm Captain Zeus. I will catch you guys later. See you.